Hi, I'm making a pizza and I figured I'd show this to you. I originally thought that this would be for a, uh, like once you're on regular foods recipe, excuse me, but I made one for my husband earlier and the crust was actually pretty soft. So this is the crust that I'm using. This is made with cauliflower and cheese. I'm sorry if you hear my kids in the background. It has two grams net carbs and 90 calories and it's seven grams of protein per serving. Now, I don't think that I could have an entire so it says one third of the pizza is a serving. So I don't know if I'll be able to fully have that much. It's very thin. I'll show it to you when it comes out of the oven. But I thought that that was a great, um, a great option. So what I plan on doing with this, I made my husband one earlier with marinara sauce and mozzarella cheese and pepperoni and feta cheese. What I plan on doing tonight is I have a rotisserie chicken from Walmart. I have it cut up. I'm going to do half with Alfredo sauce. Now, Alfredo sauce is high in fat, but it doesn't have any sugars, and it only has two grams of carbs. So I didn't think that that was bad at all. This is the no sugar added barbecue sauce that I'm using, so I'm gonna split it down the middle. I'm gonna do half barbecue sauce, and then half Alfredo sauce, and then I plan on putting sauteed onions, chicken, feta cheese, and mozzarella. So once I get that all done, I will show you guys what I'm doing. Just follow the directions on here and you'll be golden. So I'll show you after I have it all topped. Okay, so I spread out the Alfredo and the barbecue sauce. I put a little bit more Alfredo than barbecue because I feel like I will like the Alfredo better because this is an Italian crust. It has like Italian seasoning. So now I'm breaking up some feta because we love feta on our pizza. And the more cheese, the merrier. I'm gonna put this on both sides. Okay, should be enough. Now I'm gonna take chicken. I'm gonna make sure that this is loaded up with chicken because this crust is really thin. Be quiet, you guys, I'm in here doing something. Sorry if you hear my kids. It's that um, sundowning time. So now I'm loading that up with chicken. And then I have my onions that I sauteed earlier. And I'm gonna put the onions on there. And I'm gonna put this all on both sides because I think that the sauteed onions, sorry if you hear my kids, the sauteed onions and the feta and the chicken, I feel like that'll all go well whether you're having a barbecue chicken or, let me rinse my hands, click that. Okay, now I have my mozzarella cheese. I rinse my hands off because my nails get gross. And I'm putting mozzarella cheese all over this. I didn't, I could have put the mozzarella cheese first, but I did not want the chicken to dry out. So this says that you have to broil it in the oven after you're done preparing it and I really didn't um, want the chicken to dry out because you know we have to eat softer foods so I didn't want the chicken getting all dry so there it is I'm gonna put it in the oven and I'll show you when it's all done so I wanted to read you the instructions really quick so it says to preheat the oven to 400 um, like I said I made a pizza earlier and 400 was too hot it said to bake it for 12 to 15 minutes and it started to burn um, also, I laid the crust down upside down. So there's a darker side of the crust and then there's a lighter side of the crust. And how I opened it, it showed me the darker side and I really didn't think that there was a difference. So I accidentally laid it down upside down and it stuck to the pan. So I made sure I sprayed the pan this time. I only preheated it to 375 and I put it in for about nine minutes instead of 12 minutes. And then I just topped it. And I also, while I was topping it, I preheated the oven to 450 because it says um, after you top it, put it in the oven again on broil. And broil is like 535 or something like that. And that was just way too hot. It burnt the crust. And it was still really good, but I don't want mine all burnt. So I just moved it up to 450. So now it's cooking on 450. And it says to only cook for one to two minutes on the broil. Um, so that's as long as I did it and it was so burnt. Sorry, I have a two year old and it's getting late. And I think my husband's trying to make him not be the way that he is. And he's still like that. So I'll show you when it's all finished being cooked 
and I'll tell you how it is. Okay, here's my pizza. Obviously the crust got a little burnt even at 450. This side is the Alfredo and this side is the barbecue. I'm gonna wait a minute before I cut into it and then I will show you guys once it's cut. I'm gonna do two really small pieces um, and uh, taste test them. Barbecue chicken first. Mmm, that is so good, and the crust is so soft, it tastes cheesy, and it tastes, Daddy, you don't taste the cauliflower, Daddy, I don't think cauliflower really has Daddy, a taste usually anyways, sorry Daddy, my kids, we're trying to get my husband's attention, Daddy, he's recording me, that barbecue sauce was really good, I think it's perfect because it doesn't have the sugar, wow, that was really good. I'm gonna do the Alfredo now. Daddy. This one, I kind of put a little bit too much sauce on, but. Yeah. That one's really good too. Yeah. Too much sauce, too much Alfredo sauce. Sorry for my kid again, but it's still really, really good. A light layer, maybe with a brush, would be better for the Alfredo sauce. Both amazing, but I would definitely say the barbecue is the best. So there you have it. There's two different types of keto pizza. They were really good, low in sugar, low in carbs, and um, high in protein. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I would 100% mark this as a soft food recipe. The, the, the crust is soft, extremely soft. That's another reason why you don't wanna put too much sauce on your crust but it has that little bit of crisp at the end and it's so good and you don't even taste the cauliflower you taste some of the italian seasoning and you taste the cheese that's in the crust uh but the feta really adds a little something something to it so I would definitely do that and it was just really good and the I made a regular like pizza with the Rayo's sauce for my husband earlier. And that one was really good too. Um, this one was the only one with reviews, but this brand also has a regular crust that isn't the Italian seasoning. So I will definitely be getting that one next to try that one out. Now this is close to $10 for two crusts, which I still believe is very expensive for how small it is. But us... We can't have a lot. So I think as a bariatric patient, this is a great alternative. And the reason why my child was crying earlier is because he wanted a candy cane that's on the top shelf. We had candy canes on the Christmas tree and we told them that they could have candy canes when we took the Christmas tree down, which was today. And yeah, that's why. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this little recipe and I hope that you can use it and I hope that you like it too. It's healthy pizza. It's not gonna taste like regular pizza but it's phenomenal. I'm trying to keep my kid out of the way since I told him to get out of the kitchen. I don't want my kids on social media. So. <laughs> all right, I hope you guys have a blessed new year. Happy new year, guys. Love you all. God bless.